I'm MT from Cedarmount High School in Manchester, reporting for KWN. We're here at Auschwitz, the Nazi death camp in Poland. We're following the footsteps of one man to tell the story of forgotten British heroes, kept prisoner by the Nazis and forced to witness the very worst horrors of Hitler's nightmare regime. He always remembered what it meant to be human and never forgot his fellow man. Frank Ridings was an engineer from Oldham who was captured during the battle for Crete in 1941. He was one of the soldiers that stayed behind, defending the evacuation of troops, their sacrifice saved thousands of lives. I was taken prisoner on Crete. I was a Royal Marine. There was a time on Crete when one of the men shouted who was going for the water. There were German planes and gliders littering the sky. My trench mate Bob offered to go with me when I foolishly volunteered. At the time I could have bitten off my tongue. We were in trenches made for two men. The idea being if the trench got hit, only two copped it. When we reached the water hole, there were a group of Aussies there. They were well stocked with grub and they gave us some to take back. We were just ready to return to our trenches when we got clobbered by a Jerry aircraft. There was a near miss for me and Bob, but a lot of the Aussies were it. When we finally crawled back to our trench, we saw that it had a direct hit. That's what it was like. Either your number was up or it wasn't. And just be all luck. Did you know that there were over 1,600 British prisoners held in horrific conditions at Auschwitz III? Frank and another 1,000 British prisoners were put to work under the watchful eyes of the German guards. They weren't allowed to associate with any other prisoners. Communication resulted in severe punishment. The British were horrified at the treatment of the Russian POWs and even more disgusted by the way the Germans treated the Jewish prisoners who looked like living skeletons in their thin striped rags. I saw things happen to Jews that I will never forget. One day I was working in the line next to a Jewish prisoner. When the guards weren't looking, I would talk to him. Wherever possible, we'd all slip food to the Jews. We didn't have much ourselves, but seeing them, well, we couldn't ignore that. This particular day we were working, a Polish civilian was on his way home from work. He didn't say a word. He just marched up to the Jew and thumped him on the head. The Jew fell down, hit his head and didn't move. He was dead. The guard just laughed and said, that's one less. I don't think I'll ever understand. I got quite friendly with one of the guards, see? A chap called Bruno. Yes, he was the enemy, but he was an ordinary chap like me. One day he told me that he was going on a special job. I caught sight of the words, Our Bikes Mac Fry, over the entrance. It was the Jewish camp. He took me round the corner and there in front of me was the gallows, about ten Jews hanging from it. What had he done? I turned and looked at him. They're only Jews, he said. I never spoke to Bruno again. He didn't even understand why. The British POWs were credited with great acts of heroism. Witnesses at the Nuremberg trials state that they stood up to the brutal German guards and defended the other prisoners. They got messages to the Red Cross that the Nazis were killing people at Birkenau in a kind of modern bathhouse. All through their ordeal, the British soldiers remembered their humanity and helped those who could have no hope. We are proud to know you, Frank Riding, and all those other quiet heroes whose shoes we walk in today. We hope that we can show such an affirming flame.